Hello! In this video we are going to see how to build the Camlistor project and its tools and how to get started with it. The first thing you want to do is go to your Camlistor source tree which is conveniently located in my home. Here you can see everything in the Camlistor tree and the only thing you have to do to build all the project is to just run go run make.go like this. It might take a bit longer for you because I already have most of the packages already built and optionally what you later might want to do when you're rebuilding etc is to use the minus targets flag which allows you to specify which package to build and not build everything like this. All the binaries and tools are placed in the dot slash bin directory. So, yes, like in there, bin, okay. So that's it. All you have to do now to start Camlistore is to use bin Camlistore. There we go. And since we didn't specify it with any flag, it will by default start, as you can see here, in a new tab in your browser, the UI for <coughs> your Camry Store server. Here it is, of course, empty for me because I haven't uploaded anything to this Camry Store server. Let's now go back to the output. You can see here that it generated a new configuration file because I didn't have one, so I generated a default one, as well as a new key ID, a new GPG key with a new key ID in a secret ring. All of this is placed in home, in your home.config Camry store by default on Linux. Let's now have a quick look at this server configuration file here. You can see a bunch of parameters with default values. We're not gonna go into that right now, but now you know where to tweak that if you need to. Okay, and the second, second thing you might want to do is to actually do the same thing but for the clients. So the way to do that is to use the command camput, which actually is used for a lot of other things that we'll see later, with the subcommand in it. So camput in it, like this. And as you can see, it found that I already had a GPG key with a key ID, which is the one it generated, it generated for me before. And from this point, it generated a new client configuration file in the same directory as for the server, like this, which ha also has a bunch of default values for the configuration parameters. And that's it for this video. Thank you.